kinds of little creatures live hidden beneath the sand at the beach. At low tide, hungry birds swoop down and place gently in the water or on the ground to find the hidden animals and eat them. The oyster catcher has a long beak that helps it open seashells. They are a group of waders forming the family of Haemoptopodidae. They are found on coasts worldwide, apart in some tropical regions of Africa and Southeast Asia. Gulls or seagulls are seabirds of the family Laridae in the suborder Lari. They usually often steal other birds' food. Sandworm eats very small animals in the sand. They live in the sand bot on the beach and in the sandy seabed. The sandpiper is another kind of bird that hunts sand creatures for food. The majority of this species eats small invertebrates picked out of the mud or soil. A clam is a type of shellfish and it has a hard shell. Clams can be found in salt water and fresh water. Cockles is another kind of shellfish, a small rounded sea creatures with a shell. They use their foot to flee deep into the sand. You can see fish and crustaceans that live in the pools of water between the rocks. They hide under rocks and in cranials in rocks pool when the tide is out. Common prawn is also related to the crab and the lobster. It is usually a common name for small aquatic crustaceans with an exoskeleton and 10 legs, some of which can be eaten. Sea anemones are a group of marines. The sea anemone gets its name after the terrestrial anemone flower that looks similar to this creature. Although sea anemones are mostly poisonous only for their prey, some species are known to be highly toxic to humans. When it's out of the water, they pull in its tentacles. Hermit crabs are fascinating little critters with a quite few surprises. There are seven different families and species of hermit crabs living in many places around the world. All hermit crabs can be divided into two groups, aquatic and terrestrial. Aquatic hermit crabs get their own oxygen from the water while land hermit crabs need a humid environment to keep their gills moist. They make their home in a deserted shells and can be found both in shallow coastal waters and in the deep sea. Mussels are normally around 3 cm long but can grow up to 8 cm. Mussels are filter feeders and holds onto rocks with long filameters. This means they filter the water for plankton microscopic plants and animals floating around in the ocean. They can be found on shorelines all over the world, in water depths about 10 meters. Mussels are so-called tahong in the Philippines. The green crab is one of the 10 most unwanted species in the world. This small coastal crab, which is highly resilient, competes for prey and has the potential to upset the overall balance of the marine ecosystem, they usually found on the beach. Benny fish are relatively small marine fish around 30 cm, often with elongated bodies similar to eels. They are found in great numbers in tropical seas and cold water environments. Some benny fish have scales and some have none. These colorful fish are often found in the Mediterranean Sea. The John Dory is an interesting looking fish that lives throughout the tropical and temperate latitude of the world oceans, except in the American Eastern Pacific and Western Atlantic Oceans. The John Dory is called the chicken of the sea because the crest on its head looks like a feather. The male rainbow ras is more colorful than the female. It is also known as the radiant ras. They are very common in certain areas of the Tanzanian coast. The conger eels are one of the largest type of eels in the world and can be found on both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. They have long dark colored bodies, round snouts, and olfactory holes on their noses. Conger eels are carnivorous who hunt for fish and crustaceans, but will also scavenge for food.
Porgy fish eats cuttlefish and smaller fish. They have a single dorsal fin and their small mouth equipped with strong teeth. It can handle a diet of fishes and hard-shelled invertebrates. Antias fish can be recognized by their brilliant colors and elongated bodies. Antias are found throughout the world and exclusively inhabit coral reefs. Most antias reach a size of about 4 inches in an aquarium, and the largest reach an adult size of over 8 inches in the wild. Giant grouper is one of the largest of all grouper fish. They swim in warm and shallow waters. It is one of the biggest bony fish that swim around coral reefs. The grouper can be hunted for many years in the same place. Coral reefs are like underwater gardens where a great variety of fish can live. Foxbill turtle grow up to about 45 inches in shell length and 150 pounds in weight. While young, their upper shell is heart-shaped, and as they mature, it elongates. The hawksbill turtle is one of the smallest species in the turtle family. They are found mainly throughout the world's tropical oceans, predominantly in coral reefs. Clownfish or the so-called anemone fish include yellow, orange, reddish, and blackish varieties with most covered in patches or bars of white color. The largest clownfish can reach 18 cm or 7.1 inches, and the smallest are 10 cm or 3.9 inches. They usually hide itself in a stinging anemone. The yellow boxfish can grow to a maximum size of around 30 to 40 cm. These fish are indeed box-shaped. They have a nice defense mechanism considering they don't have big teeth and can swim very fast. They can release proteins from their skin into the water, proteins that are poisonous which can harm and even kill other fish that can near them. The leopard moray eel or dragon moray is widespread throughout the Indo-Pacific Oceans from Reunion to Hawaiian, Line and Society Islands north and southern japan and southern korea this eel inhabits coral and rocky reefs and is common in warm temperature waters they are the largest type of eel around the world there are 200 different species of moray eel found in fresh marine and brackish waters the lionfish is a type of marine fish it is also known as dragonfish, scorpionfish, and tigerfish due to its characteristic appearance. The lionfish is one of the most beautiful fish you can see when diving, with its brightly colored stripes and fancy-looking fins that release venom and amazingly long and colored spines. Coral reefs only occupy 0.1% of the area of the ocean, but they support 25% of all marine species on the planet. They are one of the world's most colorful and diverse ecosystems. They need very clean water to live in, or they will die. Now discover many animals and fish that live on the ice field and in the frozen waters of the Arctic Ocean. Walruses are the gentle giants of the Arctic. They are among the largest pinnipeds. Walruses prefer feeding at the bottom of shallow waters, eating clams, worms, snails, crustaceans, and sea cucumbers. Their tusks, which are found on both males and females, can extend to about 3 feet and large cannon teeth which grow throughout their lives. The walruses doesn't mind the cold, because the layer of bubbler keep it warm. Most dolphins are marine and live in the ocean or brackish waters along coastlines. Dolphins feed chiefly on fish and squid, which they track using echolocation, a built-in sonar that bounces sound waves off prey and reveals information like its location, size, and shapes. Dolphins move very fast. They can swim at speed of more than 18.6 miles per hour. The male narwhal has a tusk shaped like a longhorn. They are strange and beautiful creatures in the ocean. 
Narwhal is a small toothed whale found along coast and in river throughout the Arctic. They feed mainly on Greenland halibut, polar cod, squid, and shrimp. The killer whale or orca are the largest of the dolphin's family and one of the world's most powerful predators. They immediately recognizable by their distinctive black and white color. Smart and social, orca make a wide variety of communication sounds, and each pod has distinctive noises that its member will recognize even at a distance. They travel in close-knit groups when hunting for food. Seals have a layer of fat under skin called blubber, which keeps them warm in cold water. Their sleek fur coat is streamlined for gliding through water. A seal whiskers help it to detect prey on dark murky waters. They can survive both in polar and in tropic ocean. Codfish are a green-gray fish with a spotted pattern on their scales. The cod eats a smaller fish like herring, capelin, and sand eels. They are a type of saltwater fish with three types of species. They inhabit cold waters of the Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Some fish and marine animals only live in the Pacific Ocean. Many are found under leafy forests of giant algae. Most otters are small with short ears and noses, elongated bodies, long tails, and soft dense fur. Otters sometimes hold hands while they are sleeping to keep from floating. They are found almost all over the world and in many wet habitats, such as freshwater rivers, lakes, and oceans. The otter breaks seashells using a pebble that it rests on its chest. The body of a giant kelp fish is elongated and shaped like a kelp blade. They feed small fishes and they live to about 5 years old and mature to about 1 to 1.5 years old. Their color changes with its environment. Sheephead fish is a deep-bodied, compressed marine fish with sharp dorsal spines. This fish commonly reaches 10 to 20 inches but can grow to be as large as 35 inches in some cases. It has a hard mouth and stubby teeth that crushes its prey with its powerful jaws. They hunt actively during the day. Sea lion can dive to 300 feet and can stay underwater for about 15 minutes. They swim using their long, powerful four flippers. They are strong swimmers that can reach speeds of nearly 20 miles per hour in the water. Sea lions are some of the most adorable creatures that you'll find in the sea. The Garibaldi is the most colorful fish in the ocean. It's a bright orange fish with a heart-shaped tail fin, swimming throughout dark reefs and kelp forests. It's a jolt of glowing orange, a reminder that the Garibaldi is a relative of coral reef. Octopus are ocean creatures that are most famous for having eight arms and bulbous heads. They have three hearts and blue blood. When they are attacked, it releases streams of ink to deter predators. And being boneless, they can squeeze into tight spaces. The octopus are quite intelligent and have been observed using tools. Starfish is also known as sea stars. They are not really fish despite the name being given to them. Starfish cannot swim and they do not use gills to breathe. They are one of the most beautiful looking animals in the ocean, with various different colors, shapes, and sizes. They have a surprisingly unusual anatomy with no brain or blood, yet are able to digest food outside their body. There is no light at the bottom of the ocean. The bodies of these animals have points of lights that help them to recognize each other. Lanternfish is a deep water fish that gets its name from the ability to produce lights. Their body is covered with tiny lights. The light is given off by tiny organ known as photopore. The hatchet fish are well camouflaged, like many deep sea fishes. They have light producing organs in rows along their bellies. 
This organ shines a pale blue light that matches daylight filtering down from above and hides them from predators below. The deep sea angler gobbles up fish that come close to look at its light. They usually dark gray to dark brown in color. They have huge heads and enormous crescents, shaped mouths filled with sharp translucent teeth. Some anglerfish can be quite large, reaching 3.3 feet in length. The viper fish are characterized by long needle teeth and hinged lower jaws. A typical viper fish grows to 30 to 60 centimeter of length. It is one of the most unusual looking fish in the deep sea. Dragonfish is not a very big but it has a wide mouth filled with a long and sharp teeth. They produce their own light to help them find prey, avoid predators, and attract mates. Their bodies are lined with small glowing patches called poropores. They usually attract shrimp with its luminous spine. A long pole whip nose has a fishing line that is four times as long as the length of its body. Whip nose angler are easily recognizable because they have an elongated shape and small head. They are distinguished by the pressure of a remarkably long lure which may be longer than its body. Giant squid has large head, eight arms, and two tentacles used for grabbing of prey. It has strong jaws which are shaped like a parrot beak. They usually feed smaller fish, squids, and shrimps. It has only one enemy, the sperm whale. In the middle of the ocean, away from the coast, live fish and birds that travel quickly and need lots of room to move. The mahi-mahi is typically short-lived that they only have a lifespan of 4 to 5 years and are among the fastest growing fish in the world. It changes its beautiful colors when it's out of the water. The pilot fish eat parasites on large fish. They usually gathered around sharks, rays, and sea turtles. They eat parasites on their host and small pieces of food that their host does not eat or left over. Blue sharks are curious open ocean predators that live throughout the global ocean. From the tropic to cold temperate waters, they eat everything as it swims along near the surface. Flying fish can soar through the air for over 600 feet using its pectoral fins. It's one of the most interesting types of fish due to its ability to glide through the air. Flying fish eats a variety of food, but plankton make up a large part of their diet. Sailfish are considered the fastest fish in the sea, reaching top speeds of 70 miles per hour. There are carnivorous fish and the average of lifespan in the wild is 15 years. Yellowfin tuna are torpedo shaped with dark metallic blue backs, yellow sides, and a silver belly. They have a very long anal and dorsal fins that are bright yellow. They can live up to 6 or 7 years and highly migratory and are found throughout the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm.